what's up in Jack 79 here we are back again today with another Dragon Ball Super Superhero action figure review today we finally get in Vegeta got him in from Ageless Geeks he was a $42 US so of course like all of your big uh, Dragon Ball YouTubers have already gotten him in because they ordered the Japanese version I ordered the American version because I'm a noob but he's finally in now so we can get him in go through the figure and we can run through all the comparisons and see which had uh, all the different Vegeta's fits on this figure because honestly I have no intention of uh, keeping this normal Vegeta head on this body. I kind of want to do the Ultra Ego custom head sculpt but we'll see how it works out. So but it definitely looks good coming in the package. Uh, packaging looks good. The two smiling faces. Uh, no more stoic face. Spin it to the side here. The back. Vegeta, superhero. Now, of course, this is based off of his appearance from Dragon Ball Super Superhero, his epic uh, non-blast, non-transformation battle with Goku, which he ended up winning. Spoilers, comes out good. And so to the top, to the bottom. And all right, man, let's crack it open. Let's take a look here. And now we're back, and now we have our Vegeta superhero out of the package. Look at that. It comes out great. That is easily the best normal Vegeta face sculpt I've ever seen on an action figure before. Without a doubt, it comes out great, man. It really does. We have uh, the rest of the body here. I like the loose form-fitting clothing he's got going on here. Not good as well. Arm definition comes out good. Probably could have used a bit more shading, but as we know, that's kind of the trope of the SH figure. I'm drawing a bottle line now. They kind of done away with shading for the most part. Legs come out good. The leg definition for the muscles. Socks and the shoes comes out good as well. You can see the little screws at the top of the toe hinge there. You can spin it to the side. Comes out good. I really like the shininess of the hair strands there. Kind of see a peg going on on the arm. I'm going to push that up a little bit to kind of cover that a bit. Back. Vegeta don't got no hips. <laughs> the shirt comes out good. Hair strand comes out good as well. I like it. Really For good. the extra faces here, we have the greeting teeth face. You kind of see an indenture in the teeth there. It's pretty cool. We have a screaming, kai blasting, or a just a punching face there. Then we have the prideful Vegeta face there. Hands. Uh, yeah, regular key blasting hands, uh, some more key blasting hands. You can maybe pose him turning into Ultra Ego, or you can do a Gallic Gun pose with these hands as well. Prideful finger, thumb pointing hand there, and then some Kung Fu hands for Vegeta. Okay, let's go ahead and let's run through his articulation. Head, down, up, tilt, tilt, rotate 360. Oh, neck is connected to the head some kind of way so be careful with that head rotate 360 arm rotate 360 push it down push it up push it forward push it back butterfly hinge push it up bicep swivel elbow all the way up down wrist rotate 360 push it in push it out tilt and tilt, chest, tilt, tilt. Cannot rotate it, but you can push it back, push it forward, ab, rotate 360. Ab can also be tilted to the left and to the right, ever so slightly. Leg, out, forward, backwards. Kind of, you think, kind of gets hindered when you're trying to kick it outwards from this little top piece clipping the hip there. Rotate the thigh to the left and to the right. Knee, bend it all the way. No shin swivel, ankle down. Huh, they're kind of sticky there for that ankle. It's kind of ugly, to be completely honest. Wow. I don't think I'm a fan of that. It's kind of nasty, so be careful. You're going to have to make sure you push that. Even if you try to move it, you're going to have to push that back in So, because that does not look good at all. You're going to try to pose the ankles out. In for the toe hinge, out, tilt, rotate 360. Okay. Your figure is decent. Not the best 
especially with those ankles. Definitely appreciate the face sculpts here. Definitely not a fan of how they have designed either one of these ankles. That's crazy. Almost like it's missing a piece, you know? Dang, that's crazy. Of course, I mean, if you want to change out the faces here, just simply just plop it off. You can line it up with the pegs there. Should plug in relatively easily. Yeah, there you go. Plugs in just right, just like so. All right, puzzle in, gives us a wide base key blasting stance here. Comes out good. We got the uh, wide key blasting hands going in here. I guess we're trying to make use of these weird ankles here. It comes out good. Pretty uh, standard, pretty simple. Pose two, classic Vegeta Kung Fu pose here. Utilizing the hands here, the stoic face. I mean, it's cool that he came with the smiling face, but honestly, I don't recall Vegeta even smiling at all until the end of their fight. It's cool that he came with the face, but I just don't see any point to use it here on this particular figure. Comes out good though, I like it. Have a cool Superman pose from Vegeta going on here. Comes out good, We're using the gritting teeth face. We have a flight stand that would come out good in my opinion, having him go toe to toe with Goku. Comes out good, I'm really liking that as well. And for further review purposes here, here's him compared to the superhero Piccolo and the superhero Goku. Definitely both cool figures in their own right. Okay, now without further ado, let's see what all transformation heads can go onto this Vegeta body. All right, first we did the original Super Vegeta head sculpt from the Cell Saga. Skin tone is slightly off, but overall, I'd say that's a winner, winner, chicken dinner, people. That comes out great. Look at that. <laughs> I really like that. And then uh, the Superhero Vegeta head scope fits perfectly onto Super Vegeta body as well. So very happy with that turn. It's so crazy because none of the Goku heads, uh, the skin tone just did not fit properly at all with the Goku. It's not perfect with the, this Vegeta hair, but man, it looks 10 times better than how the Goku did. So, all right, let's move on. Uh, Super Saiyan God Vegeta head sculpt from the official Broly doesn't really fit on too well. And that skin tone, in my opinion, is just a little bit too off. Really yellowish. It just doesn't fit. So, one for one. Imagine Vegeta head sculpt fits on absolutely perfectly. Look at that. Skin tone matches up great. Same thing with the superhero Vegeta head onto the Imagine Vegeta body. Kind of fits a little bit big, but it's not terrible though. Not necessarily a one that I would use anyways, but the Majin Vegeta on the superhero body, that comes out great. I actually prefer this look for Majin Vegeta compared to the actual, the, the official Majin Vegeta body. Only thing that's missing is just the veins on the arms, but that comes out absolutely stupendous. It really does. So two for one, for sure. Super Saiyan Blue from the Broly body head sculpt. Fits on fine. But like just like with the Super Saiyan God, skin tone is a bit too off for my liking. It's a little bit too tannish orangey. So if it was a little bit lighter, it'd be perfect. But the superhero head sculpt fits perfectly and looks perfect on the Vegeta blue body. <laughs> How about that, man? This is easily the best normal Vegeta head sculpt we've ever gotten for sure. So this is definitely going to get utilized somewhere in my collection. But I mean, it doesn't look bad. And just the skin tone from the face to the skin, the same issue that the Gokus have. It just doesn't match up. And we have found our winner, the uh, Fairytale Customs Ultra Ego Vegeta head sculpt added onto the superhero body. Comes out great. Skin tone is not perfect by any means. That is all right. I am loving how that turns out, man. Like that comes out great. We have our winner. I love that, man. I really do. Comes out good. Facebook comes out good on the body. Yep, I really love that, man. So, all right, I think that's gonna do it, man. So let's go ahead and let's move everything to the museum. We'll, we'll finish out just one more quick rundown. The uh, Super Saiyan God head did not work. Monster Vegeta worked perfectly. Super Saiyan Blue. Skin tone was a bit off, but still kind of worked. And then the Super Saiyan Vegeta worked perfectly as well. So that is your rundown. We took one of our 1.0 Vegeta bodies and put the superhero Vegeta head sculpt onto there. And we had to take some sticky tack to make it fit right, but it's a little bit lopsided, but I'm just gonna finagle that a little bit more once uh, we get done here. And then that'll uh, be great. I put that somewhere on the review station. So we'll have a representation of Vegeta over here with Dragon Ball Z brethren all right man so let's move everything to the museum and we will begin to finish out here and we're back man and now we have our alter ego vegeta head scope onto the superhero vegeta body added onto the shelf and that turns out 
great look at that gotta love how that's turned out man so kind of a weird finish to the video i don't think i've ever completed a review of a dragon ball figure and put it on the shelf different than how it came out of the box so pretty cool man really liking how that turned out we have uh, all the forms of vegeta onto the shelf so good super saiyan Saiyan Saga, Blue, Super Saiyan God, Majin, and then Ultra Ego. So hopefully sooner rather than later, we actually get to see Ultra Ego in the anime. This is along with Ultra Instinct. That would be super cool. I wouldn't mind seeing them sparring at their top peak forms in the anime as well. I feel like that would be super cool as well. So, all right, man, that's going to do it. So, if you're a fan of Dragon Ball, just like I am, you know what to do. Hit that like button for me. I tend to cover every SH Figures Dragon Ball fit gear that gets released. Maybe not in a timely manner like others, but eventually I do cover them all. I think next should be, finally, Superhero Gohan. Like I said, I know peeps have started to get their first form sales in as well. So, should be soon on the horizon as well for me. I did get him pre-ordered. So, all right, man, you can follow me at youtube.com slash mojack79 i'm also on facebook instagram and tiktok my friends thank you guys for watching if you guys watch these videos comment and hit that like button you allow me to make an income doing what i have always loved uh, talking about the anime that i have loved since i was a little boy and i couldn't be more grateful for that so as always i will see you guys on the next one i'll catch you guys later